Now, we have this circle, the bigger one, whose radius is 5. This is the radius, I write 5 centimeters. Let's take this as, say, point O, and let's take this as A, and this as B. And this is the smaller circle. Now, distance between, let's take this point as, say, P. P is the center for the smaller circle. O is the center for the bigger circle. Now, distance from O to P is 4 centimeters. It's given here. A and B are the point of intersections for bigger circle and smaller circle. What we have to find out is, what is the distance between A to B? If you connect A to B, you get a common chord. Now, if you construct it properly with taking this bigger circle as radius 5, distance from center to center 4, and radius of a smaller circle as 3. You will find this chord AB will be going through the center of the smaller circle. But we need to prove that. If AB is going through point P, in that case, OP would be perpendicular bisector for AB means AP and BP, they should be equal and they, this angle here should be 90 degrees. But we need to prove this. To do that, let's take BP off from here for a while. We have only AP at the moment. Now, AP would be 3 centimeters. P is the center. In that case, PA would be radius for the smaller circle. Now I have OP which is 4 centimeters. OA which is 5 centimeters and PA which is 3 centimeters. Now, if I take OA as hypotenuse, in that case, 5 square should be equal to 3 square plus 4 square. If that is established, in that case, OPA would be a right angle triangle, right angle at OPA. I'll write here, suppose triangle OPA is right angle triangle at angle OPA, which is 90 degrees. We have supposed this. We haven't proved this. Now, I'll write if angle OPA is 90 degrees, in that case, OA will be hypotenuse. If OA is hypotenuse, then OA square should be equal to OP square plus AP square. Now, OA square is 5 square, OP square is 4 square, and AP square is 3 square. This comes to 25 equals to 16 plus 9, means 25 equals to 25. All right. As per Pythagoras theorem. Now, as per Pythagoras theorem, we have found that OA square is equal to OP square plus AP square. Now, this proves triangle OPA is right angle at angle OPA. This proves triangle OPA is right angle at angle OPA. Now, same way, taking triangle OPA B, we can prove angle OPB is 90 degrees. This angle here is 90 degrees. This angle here is 90 degrees. When angle OPA and angle OPB both are 90 degrees, angle APB will be angle OPA plus angle OPB equals to 180 degrees, straight angle. When angle APB is a straight angle, AB is a straight line. AB equals to AP plus BP. AB will be AP is 3, BP is 3, comes to 6 centimeters. And AB is the common chord, both the triangles. 
now you see ab is the common chord for both the triangles and as per theorem we know that line joining the centers of two circles will be perpendicular bisector of the line joining the point of intersection of both the circles here ab is joining points of intersection a and b op is the line joining centers of bigger circle and smaller circle in that case op will be perpendicular bisector for ab we have proved also apb and opb both are 90 degrees and ap and bp both are equal means op is bisecting ab now if you try to solve this question without proving op a as 90 degrees from the given information this question will not be solved all right